All right, Shalom. This is Parathon. Back with another lesson through the Spirit. And in this lesson, I want to get into our Lord Yahweh had a father. So before I begin, I want to give all praises to the Heavenly Father Yahweh, whom the world eternally called God through His Son, Yahweh, whom the world eternally called Jesus Christ through the Holy Spirit. All right, so call her Lord Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shah, Bahashim, Rechakwadash. Double honors to the apostles of Great Millstone that rule well, who continue to teach us this gospel through the Spirit. And Shalom Barakatam to the Akim that labor in this gospel in truth and in sincerity. All right, so our Lord, Yahweh Shah, whom the word ignorantly called Jesus, he had a father. All right, and this is a controversial topic because the world believes mainly through the um, the doctrine and the teachings of the so-called Christian church. They believe, which the Christian, the, the so-called Christian church, all right, uh, regardless of what denomination you are part of, all right, and um, also other religions like uh, the Muslim um, and other religions go back to Roman Catholicism. All right, because it's all about bringing everybody together. God loves everybody. Uh, universal. That's what Catholicism means. All right, and not only you know do they teach that our Lord Yahweh shall love everybody, they say that he was of immaculate conception, that he had no father. So in this lesson, we're going to get into our Lord Yahweh shall had a father. All right. So first, we want to get into. Um, it just start off with Matthew 1 and 1. And this is also a milk, a basic lesson. So we'll be looking up a, a couple words to prove the point. All right. And Lord willing, this lesson is edifying unto the elect. This is Matthew 1 and 1. It says, the book of the generation of Yahweh, the son of David. All right. The son of Abraham. So let's look up a couple words here. We have the word generation. All right, so he was he was from David and from Abraham, okay? It says source, origin, okay? So you have, it says Genesis. So now you know what the word Genesis means, all right? It's the beginning, all right? It says a book of one's lineage in which his ancestry or prodigy are enumerated used of birth nativity of that which follows origin existence life okay so it's going into the lineage and his ancestry all right his pro progeny okay and according to the scriptures your lineage is through the line of your father so let's get let's get this real quick. This is um numbers one and eighteen and proving the point that you determine your nationality, your lineage by the house of your fathers. That's why in Matthew the first chapter is naming all men. Okay, it's naming men and their sons. All right, you have women, a couple women that's named in there, but the the focus, all right, and the um, uh, the subject matter is the the lineage of our Lord Yahweh and his who his fathers was and what what lineage he came through. So this is Numbers one and eighteen. It says, and they assemble all the congregation together on the first day. I read verse seventeen. It says, and Moses and Aaron took men took the, these men, which are expressed by their names, and they gathered all the congregation together on the first day of the second month, and they declared their pedigree after their families. So let's look up pet, what a pedigree is. All right. They gather on the first day of the second month, and they declared their pedigree. All right. Pedigree is, it says, a child, a child's birth to be born, all right? And that's the same, we have the same 
definition meaning and generation. It says lineage, ancestry, used of birth. All right. So lineage, uh, pedigree, and his and our lawyer Hawashai generation. All right, can be the words can be interchangeable. They mean the same thing. All right. It says to be born, to cause he'll bring forth, to be born, all right, to beget a child or to bear or give birth to a child. The day of birth to declare one's birth. All right, so let's go back. It says in Numbers 1 and 18, and they assemble all the congregation together on the first day of the second month and they declared their pedigrees after their family families okay by the house of their fathers so your pedigree your lineage is determined based off of your father according to the number of the names from 20 years old and upward by their poles all right so the scriptures also say this i want to go here revelation salakia not revelation hebrew 7 in mm -hmm. so like you yep hebrew 7 this is hebrew 7 and 14 for it is evident that our lord sprang out of judah what does it mean sprang it means he was born out of the line who was born out of Judah. Who is Judah? Judah was one of the 12 tribes of the son of Jacob, which Jacob's name was changed to Israel. So Judah is one of the 12 tribes of Israel. All right. Let's see. Um, then our Lord's spring. Let's see what this word spring means. To cause to be earth to bring forth, to rise or rise, to be descended from. All right. So our Lord's descent was of Judah. To rise, to rise, to sin. All right. This Hebrew 7 and 14, for it is evident that our Lord sprang out of Judah, of which tribe Moses spake nothing concerning priesthood. So let's go back to back to the first chapter. And Matthew, the first chapter, proves that our Lord Yahweh was born of men out of the out of the descent of Judah, David, and Abraham. All right, let's see. Let's go back here. Got a lot of something else. Genesis. All right, so it says the book of the generation of our, of Yahweh Shah Hamashiach, the son of David, the son of Abraham. All right, and men men have sons. All right, these David Yahweh Shah came out of the loins of David through their descent. So we'll go down here, and you can read his. His uh, lineage, which is his genealogy. But we're going to go down. Matthew 1 and... Uh, let's see some key points in here. So it's going through the genealogy, the lineage, the pedigree of our Lord, Yahweh Shah. And it says, Matthew 1 and 16. And Jesse begot David the king. And David the king begot Solomon of her that had been the wife of Urias, all right, which was Bathsheba, okay? So Jesse begot David the king. Now let's look up this word begot. It says, um, David the king begot. It says, of men who father children, okay, to be born, to be begotten. So men who father children, that's fairly simple. Let's go over here to the next. So Jesse begot David the king. So David was born 
out of Jesse's loins, all right, out of his sperm. So we started there. Let's go to uh, Matthew 1 and 2. This Abraham begot Isaac, and Isaac begot Jacob, and Jacob begot Judas and his brethren. So Isaac had Jacob, born Jacob, and Jacob born Judas. It's going through the lineage. This is our Lord, Yahweh Shah, sprang out of the house of Judah, all right? Out of the loins of Abraham, Isaac, Jacob, on down to David, through Solomon. See, the scriptures, they don't contradict themselves. See, the, the Christians, they don't understand the mysteries of the scriptures. Neither do they understand how you have to break down the scriptures. The scriptures are written um, in a puzzle-like format to where... The scriptures say precept must be upon precept. You have to jump over here and over there to prove these facts that our Lord Yahweh shot and truthfully came out of a man's loins. All right. Came out from a man's sperm. So since we said that, let's get another precept and we're going to jump back to Matthew so I read Hebrews 7 and 14 again. For it is written that our Lord sprang out of Judah, of which tribe Moses spake nothing concerning priesthood. All right. So our Lord sprang, was born, or descended out of Judah, the man. All right. And how did that happen? Through the sperm line. All right. So let's go to the seed. I believe it's Romans. I'm looking for Romans. See, David. Let's see. Yep, this is Romans 1 and 3. It says, Concerning his son, Yahweh Shah Hamashiach, our Lord, which was made of the seed of David according to the flesh. Let's look up this word. He was made. All right. It says to become, i.e. to come into existence. Rece Golly, that's a mouthful right there. Our Lord came into existence through the seed of David. It says to come to pass happen. Public miracle performance wrote to, to become, be made. All right. Uh, do we have any more gems, jewels in here? All right, that's pretty much, hey, that pretty much said it all right there. Romans 1 and 3, it says, Concerning his son, Yahweh Shah HaMashiach, our Lord, which was made or came in existence. Okay, so it says, which was made of the seed of David. Let's see what the seed of David is. The seed in the Greek is sperma. So that's the sperm. Our Lord Yahweh Shah came through existence through the sperm of David. All right. It says, from which a plant is German germ germinates the seed, the grain, the corner which contains within itself the germ. So listen. Yep. It says, family, tribe, posterity. Okay. So we read that our Lord Yahweh Shah, our Lord Yahweh Shah sprang out of the tribe of Judah. All right, through the man Judah himself, through his sperma. All right, not di not directly. All right, but indirectly. Meaning he wasn't. Our Lord Yahweh Shah wasn't actually. Um, Jacob's son within the 12 tribes, but through Judah and Judah's blood and through his uh, sperm, he came through Abraham, Isaac, Jacob, David. All right. That was just the, you know, the main, the main characters in the scriptures. Okay. 
So let's go. Let's read this through. This Romans 1 and 3 says, Concerning his son, Yahweh Shah, Lord, which was made of the seed of David, according to the flesh. According to the flesh. All right. So let's go back to Matthew 1 and 1. And let's read here. It says, Matthew 1 and 15. It says, Elihu begot Eleazar, and Eleazar begot Matthew, and Matthew begot Jacob, and Jacob begot Joseph, the husband of Mary, of whom was born Yahawashah, who is called the anointed. All right. So this verse right here is a key verse because it clearly points out that Joseph. That our Lord Yahweh came from the loins of Joseph. All right. It reads, and Jacob begot Joseph, the husband of Mary. So Joseph was the husband of Mary, which was the son of Jacob, of whom was born Yahweh Sha. So it's telling you in this verse, Yahweh Sha came from Joseph. So let's read that one more time, and I want to get this word born. It says, and, jo and Jacob begot Joseph, the husband of Mary, of whom was born Yahweh. So in this verse, Joseph is Joseph is the noun that we focusing on. And Jacob begot Joseph, the husband of Mary. Of whom was born Yahweh, who is called the anointed. So let's look up this word born. We looked at this word a while ago. It says a man, a of men who fathered children. Who was the man? Joseph was that man. All right. Let's see. Uh so like you. Let's see, Joseph. Let's look up Joseph in the New Testament and let's see who our Lord Yahweh our Father is. Joseph. This. Says Joseph, marvelous old thing, maybe for few Joseph knew. So begin to hear. Continue reading, Lord, with uh, bear with me while I find this precept. Yep, this is John 1 and 45. It says, Philip findeth Nathaniel and said unto him, We have found him. Of whom Moses in the law and the prophets did write, Yahweh of Nazareth, the son of Joseph. All right. So all through the scriptures, our our ancestors. All right. Our forefathers, they knew that our Lord Yahweh was the son, was born of Joseph. All right. So next precept, it says. Yep, this is John 6 and 42. And they said, is, is not this Yahweh the son of Joseph, whose father and mother we know? How is it then that he said, I came down from heaven? Because they was trying to, you know, our people, they didn't believe that our Lord Yahweh they didn't believe the miracles he was doing and that he was the spiritual Son of the Heavenly Father, Yahweh. All right, they didn't believe in him. All right, that he was the anointed sent down here to be the sacrifice for the Israelites. They didn't believe it because they knew him. They seen him growing up. All right, they seen him as a child. It was like, man, we know your mother and your father. All right, you're not you you're not our savior. Cause they looking for the the anointed, the savior to come back as angelic, showing power. All right, in a, in in a uh, set up the kingdom of Israel. 
uh, Lord Yahweh came meek and lowly, riding on the ass for the first go round. Okay, let's see. Yep, so that's that's pretty much it, you know. Uh, let's see, see, David, which is all through the scriptures. All right, even this was prophecy. It was prophesied in Second Samuel, the seventh chapter, for David to have a seed that would reign on his throne forever. That was our Lord Yahweh. All right. This is a uh, had not the scripture said the anointing coming for the seed of David in town where David would. You, uh, I believe it's one in let's see. Hebrews, one. Let's see. Put in all the may work. So, you know, Lord willing, this lesson was edifying unto the elect. Our Lord, Yahweh Shah had a father. All right. So with that, I want to give all praises. He had a he had a physical father. All right. That he came through the loins of the seed of David, the tribe of Judah, Joseph's son. All right. So Lord willing, this lesson was edifying unto the elect. With that, I want to give all praises and glory to the Heavenly Father, Yahweh, Ba'ashim, Yahweh Shah, Ba'ashim, Rekha Kadash, double honors to the apostles.